Well, hello. Steve and I are so glad to be joining you for this wonderful occasion. This is Pastor Steve Lowry. I'm Pastor Janice Lowry. We have been a part of the Cirillo family for almost 35 years. And what a wonderful, wonderful time to celebrate for you, Mama. 90 years, 90 years. Let me just tell you, Sister Cirillo, so many times I have looked at you as a young woman in ministry, as a young couple in ministry, and now we're getting a little bit older in ministry, but we have always looked to you as a mentor, as a guide, as a perfect example of a woman who stands beside her husband, but then when the time is needed, she knows how to step out and step forward for the kingdom of God. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart and from the National Church of God, we want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Amen. Steve? Mama, mama, mama. Oh, my goodness. I have been in love with you and your late husband for, like Jana said, about 35 years. I remember that my dad, when you folks were in town for a for a particular meeting, my dad invited Brother Morris to our church to speak to our congregation one Sunday, and um, he was running a little bit late because of the uh, because of the traffic, and uh, and and a lady by the name of Marianne Benson and I sang a song while we were waiting that was called I've Just Seen Jesus. It was released in 1985, and we were singing it early 1986. And as we were singing, Brother Sorello came walking in, sat over on the side, and just watched us carefully. And when we finished, my dad introduced him, T.L. Lowry introduced him, and he walked to the pulpit, and this is what he said. If I had had to crawl on my hands and knees from, San, from California to get here just to hear that song, it would have been worth it. Mama Teresa, that was absolutely a crowning point in my life. It meant so much to me. In the latest uh, meeting in Orlando that Janice and I were able to be at, I believe that that was um, Morris's 80th birth, 80th birthday. I went up to you in the hallway of the hotel. And you and Brother Morris were always so gracious to us. So gra I told people you treated us like your own children. And I told you, I said, Sister Sorello, my mom died in, in 2015. My dad passed in 2016. And I just want to ask you, is it okay with you if I consider you to be my new mom and dad? And a tear came in your eye, and you said, Yes, but you have got to visit me in California. <laughs> We're still working on that. Teresa, we love you so much. We pray for you constantly to be your age and carrying on the responsibilities of that huge ministry. I know that, in, that with Greg you have a lot of help. But let me tell you, no one carries the responsibility like the ones who are responsible. We love you, lady. I, I wish for you great health. I wish for you long, long life. And we are praying for you every day single day. God bless you from Washington, D.C., the National Church of God. We give to you big arms of love 
and we embrace you for carrying ministry into this next generation. We love you. Praise God for you. Goodbye now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.